Hello everyone, I'm back and I now have three of these air quality detectors. So this one came from eBay and I did a video about it uh, yesterday, a couple of days ago. This one also came from eBay and I think was slightly lower cost than this uh, this LED uh, LCD one over here. This one just has LEDs but this one is one of three other models uh, that the Department for Education are giving out to schools in the UK so that they can be more aware of ventilation in classrooms. I wanted to see which of these is most accurate and it seems they're all absolutely all over the place. So we've got this one over here, the original one, which is claiming the CO2 parts per million of 423-ish. We have this one over here, which is claiming CO2 parts per million of 596-ish. I'd be more inclined to believe this one here. And then we have the one that is given out to schools, and you can buy from Rexel, which is claiming 1,735 carbon dioxide parts per million. So the other thing which is quite noteworthy is, so this one is just temperature and carbon dioxide and humidity. This one over here and the one on the right, so the one on the left and the one on the right, do the TVOC value and uh, the HCH O value, uh, which is there and there. Let's first have a look at the TVOC value on this one on the far left. 0 0.008. Have a look at the one over on the right. 0 0.7. So one of these is out by a factor of 10. And uh, if you take it into a room, for example, where cooking's going on, this one almost reliably reads uh, a factor of 10 lower than this one. The same with the HCHO value, which is 0.005 or 006. Over here is 0.05. Again, a decimal point seems to be out entirely. I'm afraid I don't know enough about what these values should be, the, these two, um, to know which, uh, sorry, these two, to know which one is correct. Once again, my gut feeling tells me that this one is the one that's likely to be most correct, just because it looks, this one looks like it's been made by somebody who's like, oh, I can make a nice UI, I can buy some components for an LCD screen, uh, and I can buy a detector, I can write some code and then put the product out there and probably haven't put a lot of testing into it. Uh, this thing with its LC, uh, LEDs will have been simpler to make and I guess probably cheaper to, to manufacture and uh, I don't really know what I'm trying to say here but this one over on the left is probably being sold on its wow factor of its display whereas this one is being sold in bulk and probably is more accurate. I have absolutely no idea what is going on with uh, this this one over here in the middle, the one that I would expect to be the most expensive and uh, is certainly being given or sold um, to the Department for Education in this pandemic. It gives absolutely insane results. I was hoping that this middle one here when I received it was going to be more in line with one of these two so I could know which of these two were from eBay were most accurate and this expensive one from Rexel appears to be the least accurate and the most mad of the, the lot. Also again over here on, we've got the temperature I'm sure does actually overread showing 20 degrees centigrade over here this one shows 18 degrees. I would say my uh, workshop is more like 18 degrees. Humidity is also out on, uh, on these two. Very different results. I can go and get 
a uh, another opinion. So I'll be back with a different bit of equipment. Okay, here's yet another bit of equipment. Uh, this one will probably take a few minutes to, I wouldn't say acclimatise. Pretty sure that all of these have some sort of uh, averaging going on so that you don't get uh, spikes in results. That's annoying. There's uh, cables in the way from this one. However, it can just be unplugged. Okay, so I can see which one is incorrect which and going on my gut feeling with the parts per million and just how all these values seem to be a factor of 10 off from this one on the right I think this one is the least ac well other than this one which may be faulty this one from eBay is probably incredibly badly made the coding looks like it may be out by a factor of 10 for these two values in the middle here uh, it certainly seems to read too low on the carbon dioxide reading and the temperature is reading at least two degrees too high because uh, this one's actually gone down since I brought it into this room. It's uh, now reading 17.9 which tallies with this one over here except over this air quality detector is showing 20 degrees. Wrong, definitely wrong. Uh, this one, this Rexel provided one is showing 65.8 uh, degrees humidity. This really old one, uh, which is literally just a clock and a temperature and humidity is showing 65% as well. So these two tally. This one here is showing 57% is also, again, wrong. So I would say if you're going to buy this device, it should be checked for accuracy against some other known good uh, device because it does seem to not read very accurately. Okay so I've been doing a little bit more research on what the standard values should be. Um, let me see if I can sort out the reflections on this so you can see the titles. There you go, that might help. So I'm pretty certain that, well, pretty certain this one's faulty. Just entirely faulty. Get rid of that. I'm pretty certain that this one is coded wrong. So whoever's made it has screwed up and uh, has put the decimal points in the wrong place or it's just designed badly and doesn't read stuff correctly. So the standard residential value for the formaldehyde, which is HCHO, uh, this value here and this value bottom left on this one should be in a normal residential kind of setting 0 0.03 so over on this left hand one which I've got the gut feeling is the is the more accurate one 0 0.02 which is close to the 0 0.03 considering I'm in a workshop rather than um, inside a house where there'd be more kind of particulates in the air uh, in the house I expect than this uh, brick workshop with no carpet etc over on this one, which is faulty and or wrong, we've got HCHO of 0.006, which is clearly has to be wrong, uh, especially as I've got less confidence in this one anyway. Moving on to the uh, volatile organic compounds, the expected average in a house again residential setting is 0 0.2 which is very close to this 0 0.2 and 0 0.3 that this one is flipping between if we go over to the one that i think is faulty and we've got 0 0.009 there is something very wrong with this uh, almost for this one i think the decimal point is uh, in the wrong place they're dividing it by 100 when they should be dividing by 10 or, or something similar. And you can actually probably tell over here it says 23 degrees centigrade. That is absolutely wrong. Uh, again, if you compare it to this device here, which is just a clock and uh, humidity and temperature, 18.3. If you've bought one of these, send it back. It's absolutely wrong, coded wrong, sensor is wrong, temperature sensor is wrong, humidity is wrong. Um, this number jumps around all over the place into values that I don't think are accurate. Um, just pretty terrible. 
This one appears to be accurate. It looks like it's a much older design, has been around longer. Uh, it's probably the most accurate. And I'll see whether I can get another one of these because that's just faulty. Uh, I haven't really seen it go below about 2,000 parts per million. Uh, no matter whether I leave it outside or spray air spray and in, uh, duster into it, it's just stuck. Like there's something stuck in the sensor uh, or it was manufactured faulty. Um, there we go. Hopefully that video has been interesting and helpful to you. If it has, it would be really helpful to me if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my YouTube channel. You don't need to have the video notifications on, but the subscriber numbers really do help. Thank you very much.